the rate of drug overdoses in Santa Clarita are on pace to increase, with three confirmed fatalities reported just this year. With current strategies failing to stop the deaths, some experts are looking to marijuana for an answer. A 2014 study published by the American Medical Association concluded that states with legal medical marijuana had a 25% reduction in opiate overdose deaths, and a 2009 study conducted in the Harm Reduction Journal concluded that substitution might be a viable alternative to abstinence for those who are not able or do not wish to stop using psychoactive substances completely. Not all experts agree. I spoke earlier with Phyllis Nadler, CATC3, here at the Child and Family Center regarding the drug problems related to Santa Clarita, and she had some very interesting answers for us today. Um, medical marijuana is also dangerous. I'm not going to minimize that one because even though it's just marijuana, it's still a much higher potency, and I don't want to support anything that's going to make it easier to access. I also spoke with Larry Schallert, Assistant Director of the Student Health and Wellness Program at College of the Canyons to get his view on the controversial topic. It's certainly less, less harmful and if you're going to say, okay, let's bring marijuana things in here so that we don't have drug cartels, you know, we don't have methamphetamine use, it cuts that all down. You know, it's, it's not as simple as that, but um, there's certainly a case to be made for if there's marijuana available, uh, some of these other problems would be less of a problem. Regardless of your stance on the topic, the war on drugs continues in America, and Santa Clarita has not been spared of its casualties. For Cougar News, this is Marlon Nawagamoa.